Pentington Robotics is not a club. It's a team. It's a team where we work together and uh, work for the same goal. The Penticton Robotics team has nearly doubled in size this school year and is gearing up for a prestigious national robotics competition. We can now have multiple people on each thing. We don't have to have everybody doing multiple things. So we can have a team doing the fundraising. We can have a team working on the design and the build. We can have a team working on the website and the coding. And that team aspect is what I really wanted to see for this, is where they learn to work together like they will in the world once they graduate. The team is working up to head to Vancouver for the first Canada competition, which sees teams of 14 to 18 year olds from around the region compete with their robots. It's not like BattleBots or anything you see on TV. It's we compete to build a robot that does certain tasks effectively and efficiently. We have two months to build our robot. On January 4th, we get the video released explaining what the competition is. From January 4th to February 26th, we build our robot. We're here every day after school till as late as Mr. Walker will let us. Um, and we're just building. Then at competition, we're competing with other teams. Coming off competing at last spring's competition in Victoria, Green said the team learned to problem solve and work together. We went to competition with a system and during one of our matches that system completely broke and we managed to in three hours completely redesign and rebuild that system thanks to one of our mentors. In preparation for this school year's contest, the team will need some major support to get there. We really rely on the community for sponsorship donations. In order to be comfortable with being in the competition, we need around $20,000. $20, if you're interested in joining, mentoring the club, donations, or sponsorships, head to the Penticton Robotics Team website. For Castnet News, I'm Casey Richardson.